The VIJHL champion Campbell River Storm have pulled the trigger this week on the first of what will likely be a number of trades as they position themselves for what they hope will be a fourth consecutive trip to the Cyclone Taylor Cup. General Manager Lee Stone has acquired the rights of 1997-born Matthew Jalabert from the Oceanside Generals in exchange for Darren Hards and Kyle Craddock. In two seasons with the Gens, Jalabert racked up 86 points in 73 games. That's 1.2 points per game. He spent last season in the SJHL with the Melville Millionaires. Stone on acquiring Jalabert. At the end of the day, we think Matthew's a high-level hockey player that played at the Junior A level last year. And obviously there's a risk factor that, that he could be back at, in the SJ plane there. But, you know, part of the way we build our program is we try to attract top-end talent, guys that, especially as 20-year-olds, want to play collegiate hockey one day. And Matthew's certainly one of those guys. And I think at the end of the day, if he does decide to come here and play for us, that uh, he'll be really successful both on and off the ice for sure. There were two other players involved in the trade. D-man Kyle Craddock came to the storm in January and picked up eight points in 11 games. Crowds, it was it was tough, right? He came in right at the deadline for us and he's super skilled, impressive defenseman. He didn't get all year to, to learn the system and, and develop that play. And one, one of the most skilled D-men I think we've, we've had in our program. Still think of that wraparound goal that he oh, scored. That, that, that was one of the best goals of the year. I think it ended up actually making it into your, your goal of the year video finalist there. We think that going to play for Oceanside is going to give him a chance to be that top end guy instead of maybe playing a little bit lower in the lineup where he did with us and doing things I think at the end of the day are more suited to his strengths which is certainly the offensive side of the game. 1998 born forward Darren Hards played 52 games in the BCHL with Surrey, Cowichan and Langley before joining the Storm. In the playoffs, he led all Campbell River marksmen with 18 points. Darren was a guy that when we brought him at the deadline, we you know we certainly assumed that he would be here for the remainder of the year, and, and that was it. In terms of what he brings on the ice, I mean, at the junior B level, it's, it's such an interesting mix, right? I mean, obviously, when he plays at the next level, his job is to play with that physical side that we saw on a regular basis. Here, he, he reestablished himself as a guy who offensively is really gifted with the puck. He's got some smooth hands, makes plays around the net, and I think there were times in the Victoria series where you know finishing checks made those guys think twice a little bit about what they were doing with the puck and allowed the rest of our team to, to have more time and space with the puck and uh, Hards is another guy that you know we're pretty confident is going to make the jump to junior A and uh, obviously if he isn't I think he'll end up being a top end guy for Oceanside. Coming up we'll spotlight some Matthew Jalabert goals and we'll talk with a young man from Nanaimo. Melville looking to get back in this. Jalabert can't receive the pass. Robinson will try and clear it. That is stopped halfway through by Matissic. Now Scantlebury once again moves it up to the point. Karakotchuk with a shot and that one doesn't make it to the net. Scantlebury shovels it down. Here's Matissic and he can't make it. Rebound and they score. It took a little while but they got on the board. They capitalized on that rebound and that's going to make it. 1-1, 1-1, Jalabert with the goal. He was diving right across the crease. See and Matthew Jalabert and the former general Chandler Breakery trading the goals in the first 20 minutes of action. Generals will move right to left, defending to my broadcast right. The box left to right, defending to my broadcast left in this second period. Here's Jalabert right in front. He scores! Two tonight for Jalabert and the Generals are up by one. Yeah, 38 seconds into the second period here. And once again, Matthew Jalaber comes out to start the period on fire. Nice individual. I was surprised. Didn't see that one coming, to be honest. I think it was a good trade on both sides. It's a good trade for Oceanside. They're picking up a couple young guys and play every night. In two seasons with the Generals, you impressed averaging 1.2 points per game. Describe your style of play for anybody that hasn't seen you play recently. I can be a rough player, like to hit, like to get in the little messy stuff sometimes, get me some penalty minutes, but I also like to put the puck in the net, make some plays. At the end of the day, you need to score goals to win games, and that's what I like to do. This year, maybe I didn't score as much as I, I should have. Had some injuries, but I'm sure I'll get back on pace this year. You spent a year in the SJ. You mentioned that uh, with the Melville Millionaires. If you decide to play with the Campbell River Storm next season, how do you think your year with Melville positioned you for another stint in the VIJHL? The SJ is definitely a step up. I mean, it's a pretty rough league, some pretty big guys, and I definitely think I've gotten to be a tougher player. Played 50 games there this year. 
I also got a A on my jersey after Christmas, after the deadline there. So I think I got to step up and be more of a leader in the room, take charge. So I think I could bring more of a leadership role to the team. As an opposing player coming into the Rod Brindamore, how did it feel? It's always a tough place to play. You know, there's always going to be a big crowd, especially uh, playing Oceanside. We, we had a little rivalry going there the last two years we were playing, and I'm sure still is one. Uh, it was always a tough barn to play in. Where do you see yourself in a couple of years from now? I would like to be going to school. Realistically, I'd like to get a scholarship wherever my opportunity takes me, pursue schooling, maybe take something with education, become a teacher, something like that. That's great. Thank you very much, and good luck. Awesome. Thank you very much.